I like about John Dugan is that he likes people. He believes in them. And what better person to introduce you to Bracey Hall in Westmoreland? He's the birthday here, and was waiting to greet the party of boys I brought up with me from Edelvale for a week's holiday. My party was split into four groups, each group sleeping in dormitories bearing the famous names of the Lake District. Some fellows were a bit nervous of what to expect, but not for long. A gracious house set in lovely grounds makes a wonderful place from which to set out each day in search of adventure. And soon, they found their feet, <laughs> at least some of them did, in the rugged hills surrounding the lake. They were given this holiday because their keen work at Ebervale had earned it. Just as they had worked hard there, so they played hard here. But I've talked enough. Let's hear from one of them. Come on, Terry. Tell us what you thought about it. Well, at first it was a bit like hard work. We thought we were training for Everest or something. But we had to agree with our mountain instructor, Mr. Dobson. The view from the top made it well worth the climb. And the mountain air certainly gives you an appetite. I've never eaten so much or slept so well in all my life. What was fishing in the mountain stream, learning to be a lumberjack and training to swim a channel. Of course, there were quiet moments. We tried our hands at carpentry, and sometimes I played the piano for a promising young soprano. She had a great year for high notes. Mr. Dugan told us he couldn't train for toffee, so we had to go. That's how the field works. Not bad for a beginner, I thought, but my still life was pretty dead. David Whitcomb took it very seriously, though, and went all abstract. Some people thought he went haywire, but I don't know, it was original anyway. Now we come to the bit that I like best of all, sailing. Mr. Barrett showed us how to hoist the mainsail. I nearly said place the main race, but he told us we weren't old enough for that yet. We learned about jibs and painters and taking in race and a lot more before we went out on Lake Windermere. But once afloat, it was gone with the wind first and the thrill of a lifetime. the boat I was in was going to capsize. As a matter of fact, it very nearly did. Well, that's about it. And we were very sorry when the time came for us to go. But all good things must end, even this holiday adventure. So, here's to the next time. <laughs>